farming in the 21st century isn't the same as it used to be back in the old days. With the advent of new technologies like drones and digital sensors, we now have the means to take agricultural productivity to new heights. This technological farming management is now being bolstered by artificial intelligence, and we'll be breaking down how that changes things in today's video. First up, farming and AI. If you haven't heard of Solfintech, you'd be forgiven. They're a small tech firm based in the US, but they're leading the charge in the precision farming market, the details of which we're going to get into just a little bit later. The company offers end-to-end -end agriculture solutions that involve the use of sensors and digital displays in tandem with farming equipment. These provide real-time data on crops and weather conditions and so much more. What's of major importance now is how the company is using AI to bolster its services. The potential this has to increase the efficiency is unparalleled, and the investment in Solfintech's platform might be nothing compared to how agriculture might just be improved. Now, to understand how Solfintech's platform might change how we view agriculture, you're going to need to understand what precision farming is. Next, smarter farming, better production. Agriculture and technology have been linked since the very first domesticated crops. Primitive tools like hoes and shovels have been instrumental in early agriculture and developing society, and they're still being used today in much the same way as they were by our ancestors. Then, once we learned how to domesticate animals, livestock was used to propel agriculture even further as we developed simple vehicles like carts to implement these tools. This greatly lessened the burden on farmers and increased productivity to the point where farmers could extend croplands without the fear of being unable to reap the yields. Most recently, however, as motor vehicles have become commonplace, specialized vehicles for agriculture have been developed, and you don't need to analyze mounds of data to see how effective they've been in increasing productivity over the last century. These developments in agricultural technology have allowed farmers to spend a lot less time on money and labor and resources while they still get to reap greater yields. As the global population grows, the trade between countries expands, and this expansion is ever necessary. Now, as we move further into the digital age, technologies like drones and digital sensors and now computational analysis might just bring the next agricultural revolution into existence. The use of such innovations to manage farming has been termed precision farming, and it has the potential to increase efficiency in a way that we've just never seen before as a species, especially with the implementation of artificial intelligence as it's happening now. Now on to precision farming and the limit of productivity. Though there's always room for improvement when it comes to mechanical aspects of agriculture, efficiency isn't just about having better physical tools to do a job. To increase efficiency, you also can make better use of the tools that you already have. That's what precision farming is all about, allocating resources in the absolute best, most efficient way possible using analytical techniques and modern technology. Precision farming involves many different tools and approaches to achieve its goal of increasing efficiency while reducing resource costs. This could entail geomorphology analysis to determine the attributes of the terrain and how water would best be utilized in various parts of the farmland. Determining the topology of the land has been significantly bolstered by the development of drone technology, which has enabled aerial image analysis. Sensor data can also be used to determine how soil varies across a farm and which crops are best suited to certain areas. Again, this isn't the end-all be-all for agriculture as new machinery can always be developed, but it does show us the potential limit for what can be achieved on any given farmland with that machinery being available. That observation of a potential limit could even be clearer now that the artificial intelligence is being brought into the mix. Up next is AI and what's even possible. As we mentioned before, Solinfotech's approach to agricultural development is focused on digital solutions. What's gotten the public's attention now, though, is how they're using artificial intelligence to bolster these data acquiring and analytical technologies. This AI platform known as Alice AI offers customers the opportunity to optimally plan and schedule farming operations. It does so by using machine learning algorithms and geopositioning and clustering analysis, identification algorithms, and other data science approaches. This radical new approach might just be why Solinfotech recently announced a $60 million investment round, signaling that others also see it as the next big step in agricultural advancement. If you're still not sure how AI can help with farming, let's take an actual example of what Alice AI has been used for. When it comes to deciding how to spray chemicals for pest control, Alice may take real-time weather data from sensors around the farmland and give insight to the farmers according to what individual crop conditions are optimal for pesticides. If crop A could benefit from pesticides at a certain time of the day, eh, crop B might not. This information can then be provided to farmers, and they can change their spraying patterns accordingly. We can always change what tools we use, but we're still beholden to environmental conditions. AI just lets us make optimal use of information in regard to that. So where does Solinfotech and AI stand? New developments in technology are always coming and going, and not everything sticks despite their benefits. So how do we know that Solinfotech's machine learning approach and other uses of AI in farming is going to stay for the long run? Well, for that, we can look to where Solinfotech has already had success. Their technology is currently being used across 27 million acres in the United States, Brazil, and other places in Latin America. The company claims that it serves around 85% of Brazilian sugarcane growers, the top five grain producers in that country, and Gromar, which is one of North America's 
Canada's largest agricultural cooperatives. It's clear from the achievements that Solymphtech isn't just some basic startup, and its current year's investment fund of around $2 billion means that it's got a lot of future growth potential in it. Now, in other news, automation revamps a winery. In California, wineries existing farming machinery has been retrofitted with new technology to make it autonomous and capable of coordinating with a fleet of similarly retrofitted vehicles. This was the result of a collaboration of three different companies specializing in various different technologies. These include Autonomous Agricultural Company, Blue White Robotics, Wireless tech company Federated Wireless and Tech MNC Intel. Blue Wit Robotics offered the adaptive autonomous kit that retooled existing tractors into autonomous machines, while Federated Wireless provided a wide-reaching wireless network that covered the vineyard's 2.1 square miles. The autonomous machines were then connected with each other and sensors over the network through Intel Smart Edge and an edge server with a 6-core Intel Xeon processor. This repurposing is going to let a single operator manage an entire fleet of tractors across vineyard's large area, while also providing live data and analytics of the field and weather conditions. Biden proposes precision farming assistance. Recently, President Joe Biden's administration has displayed a lot of interest in aiding the development of precision farming in the United States. This interest comes in the form of a proposition of a USDA cost-sharing program that's going to give farmers the technical assistance that they need to undergo a shift to precision farming management and approaches. The expectation here is that it'll significantly lower food prices, while also managing to increase food production overall. So in order to facilitate this, there would need to be a more robust outreach program for farmers and a streamlining of the application process that's necessary to attain this technical assistance from the government. Fast-tracking applications have also been on the agenda. This proposal is one of three and comes in a time of supply chain shortages as a result of ongoing Ukraine-Russia conflict. The other initiatives include doubling of funding for domestic fertilizer production, as well as an increase in the number of countries that are eligible for double cropping insurance. SendCrop raises $18 million. Solemph Tech isn't the only company that's looking to revolutionize the agricultural industry. SendCrop is another such ag tech solution company looking to take a data-driven approach to increase farming efficiency. Though it's based in Europe, the young company recently announced an $18 million fundraising round. This funding is definitely going to allow Sencrop to expand its influence into North America. The company has only existed since 2016, but it might just be on its way to becoming the world's leading agricultural technology company. The platform that Sencrop provides has been used by more than 20,000 farmers, offering them real-time and predictive information regarding microclimates, plant growth, water stress, pest conditions, and so much more. The way Sencrop market its platform is by setting itself up as a means of reducing crop risks for farmers. Knowing how the climate changes in real time can allow farmers to make informed decisions about day-to-day -day planning to maintain consistent growth and yields over seasons. Currently, SendCrop offers its services to farmers in over 20 countries worldwide. And that number is only going to grow now that they've secured such a large investment. And that's a wrap for this video. Do you know of any instances where precision farming has dramatically changed farm yields? Let us know in the comment section below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channels for more videos like this. I meant to say subscribe to our channel. <laughs> That's at the end of the video. Who cares? Y'all clicked off anyways. See you in the next one.